Welcome to the Miniatures Paintbrush. Today we're going to talk about getting a handle on painting your miniatures. Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going to address a problem uh, when painting your miniatures. Uh, usually when you want to get into certain crevices and spaces, you kind of touch your miniature as you paint it. And when you have wet paint going on, it's very, very easy to smudge your paint and you don't want that if you want high detail. So, in the steps, dun -dun -dun, pill bottles. That's right, used pill bottles coming from uh, your pharmacy store uh, when you get your medication. Uh, I kind of tend to like the unchild resistance one because I can just pop them off like that very easily. That was a cool popping sound. All right, um, so what you do is you take your tack. I got this from, uh, is it the dollar store or was it one of those craft stores? Um, they're $1.99, so they're really, really cheap. And what you do is you take this poster tack out and you take just a little bit off, okay, uh, real easily, right? It doesn't take too much, depending on the size of the miniature itself. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the tab and you're gonna place the poster putty right there on the tab. And what you're going to do is you're gonna take your miniature and you're gonna affix it to that and it'll stick really well. See, it's not coming out, not coming out anywhere. Uh, even dropped it, look at that, not going anywhere. And you see how it tipped over to the side? That's an issue we're gonna to address to, uh, today as well. Now, you take one of these uh, pill bottle stores and you get their garden variety rocks. I got these from uh, this leftover uh, aquarium rocks. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna fill up the bottle. Now these rocks weigh a lot more than the model itself. So when you put the model on it, there it is, and you, oops, and you kind of mess around there. Oh, ooh, um, no, no, it's very, it makes it hard, not impossible, but hard to knock over, which is great. So when you're painting it though, you're not touching it at all and you can get into the little bits and pieces, which is exactly what I wanna do. All right, for my project that I'm doing now, I'm working on some uh, Citadel models uh, for a death army. And I, you can see how I did exactly the same thing. Each one of these pieces have their own um, pill bottle with uh, rocks within it to make it really, really sturdy. Um, so it's just a really quick and simple way to not touch your models when you're painting them and to keep them steady. That post attack really works. I hope you like the show. And if you like it, give me a like. Have a good one. Bye. So one last one thing I want to mention about pill bottles. Uh, is that when you are painting your miniature, if it does happen to fall, um, smaller miniatures that is, you do have a clearance where it's not touching whatsoever, which is great for another uh, painting technique, which I use to hold my hands steady, completely steady. Um, so this way I can really get into the details, and if I want to rotate it, I can rotate it as well. Um, it's sort of rotisserie style painting, which is great. Uh, and that's a technique that, uh, that I kind of just learned by happenstance by something just falling down and saying, oops, it fell. Wait a second. It didn't touch the bottom. That's great. Wait a second. I can sort of brace my hand on this and I really can get a handle on painting, which is today's <laughs> great lesson. All right. That being said, are you all right, little guy? Yeah, I think he's fine. All right. <laughs> if you like this video, please like. Uh, if you like the channel to see more, please subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.